Underpinning is a big process and there are many stages involved. We're gonna shore up the foundation by putting in some temporary walls in the middle of the home. Then we're gonna divide up the foundation wall in four foot sections. Then we're gonna bring in our equipment. Taking all the sand out is a big job. It's tedious, it's heavy, and it's a lot of manpower. We'll then dig out underneath and re-pour a new foundation wall down to a new footing, one section at a time. And we will be left with eight foot ceilings and a finished, structurally sound shell. So this was dug out and poured in three sections. You can see there's a section right here, right? There's a section right here, and so on and so forth. We do it in one thirds so that the house is never more than one third compromised. On the exterior wall, we do it a little different. We're in the dimple board. This is gonna protect if any moisture does come through. There's your drain lines, that's your sewage line there. All our plumbing has been inspected, all our weeping tiles, everything underground is good to go. Other than that, we're about to pour a new floor in here. Are we ready to pump? That we're ready to pump. Let Paul give it a shot. Whoa, 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 back that way now, back that way now. <laughs> Don't be scared of it. You can do a tough guy, wrangle that. <laughs> it's like an anaconda. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> He's getting the hang of it. Maybe we'll leave Paul with you. He seems to be enjoying himself. He does. We're going to have to get him a new pair of jeans, though. Oh, shit. Paul, your shoes! <laughs> to see more from this episode, watch Income Property on HGTV.